So now let's see how we can work around with the remiss option inside of Blender. So in order to work around with this, first of all, I'm going to enable Dying Topo and Smooth Shading so I can add in some details onto our object right here. So just like this, I'm just going to add in some random details and maybe I want to mirror all of these out so that I can have some random details right here. So let's say, for example, if I were to do this right here, let me just click on it to pull out some details just like this. And there you go. We got some random very, very detailed object right here, just like this, and there you go. So this is like, um, let's say, alien meteorite right here, like a spaceship or something. Uh, anyways, we got an object right here. So now, if I were to go around and then uh, disable, I'm just going to go around, enable the dying topo right here, and disable the smooth uh, shading right here. So this is what you have. So you got a bunch of mess, uh, which is really, really messed up, as you can see right here. Some, some of them are triangular and so forth, as you can see right here. If I were to press tab, you can see that they are all triangular faces all around over here. So now what you may want to do is you might want to remess this so that they are arranged out um, in a proper way. So in order to do that, I can go around over here on to this icon. That is, if I were to go to Object Data Properties, and if I were to go around into the Remess option, what happens is that you get options such as Voxel and then Quad right here. So in this video, we're going to focus on the Voxel option. So if I were to go around and then change the Voxel size, let's say, for example, I want to keep the Voxel size at 0.5 meter right here. I can smooth out the normals, paint, and then enable all of these settings as per what I want, and then click on Voxel Remix, and this is what happens. You can see that the level of detail is drastically decreased, and you can see that everything is much cleaner. So I'm just going to press Ctrl Z right here to go back, and then what you can do is you can make the detail even smaller because uh, the end result was very, very, uh, very, very, uh, let's say with less amount of detail. So I'm going to keep 0.1 meter right here and use the voxel and you can see that now everything is like a quad face and then you don't see much of a triangular face over here. So everything is arranged out according to what you see right here. So you can actually turn the mess object into a much more organized uh, mess right here. So I'm going to go around and uh, change the voxel size to 0.2, remess it, and you can see that the level of detail decreases out right here. You can also smooth it out so that you got, get the smooth version. So even if you have a detailed object and if you want to, let's say, remess it so that you can take it into a video game where uh, a lot of detail is actually not very good, then you can actually use this method. So I'm just going to remove the uh, smoothing, let's say, increase the adaptability. You can see that as I remace this, you can see that I can increase the adaptability and change out how this actually looks like. So some of them are triangular faces and so forth. Uh, but anyways, the number of faces in the object decreased by a lot. And that is how you can work around with the uh, remessing of voxels inside of Blender. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.